Welcome everybody to the Photoshop Tip of the Week. I am Woody Walters and you're here for that tip, so let's get started. Hey, as you guys know, I play an awful lot with brushes, you know, um, and it's gotten to a point where I can't even create an image without bringing some type of brush work into it. And so I, I just want to show you a few things here that I really think are going to help you out. I got this man and I've already got him selected and I got him against a black background. Now I'm going to come down here to my new layers and I'm going to click one, two, three, four, five. What the heck? Now I'm going to come up on top and I'm going to click two, one, two. So now I got five layers and now I'm going to come to my very bottom and I'm going to grab one of the fog brushes and I'm going to grab this one here and we're going to look at that. I'm going to say, yeah, I like that. Okay. And so now I'm going to come up here to window and I'm going to come down to brush settings or the F5 key. So I'm going to click on brush settings and here you're usually it defaults to the a uh, brush tip shape but I'm gonna come down here to shape dynamics and I'm gonna go over here where it says size jitter I'm gonna move that to about 51 percent and over here where it says angle I'm gonna click on that we're gonna click on that to 50 percent and then I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna hit flip jitter and I'm gonna say okay so now once I got that I'm gonna bring this down so I can see my swatches and see what my image is doing and now I'm going to hold down the Alt key, and I'm going to click on the blue here. And hopefully we're going to get a blue. I want a little darker. So you just click on that panel. I'm going to bring it down to about right there. And we're at 51%. That's pretty good. So I'm just going to hit this. Boom. Boom. I'm just going to start adding some fog in here. Boom. 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 Good. Boom. Boom. I'm just going to bring this up. Boom. 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 Now, if you get a shape that you don't like, click on it in an area where it's not going to show, like right in here. You know, I don't like that shape very much, but I do like this shape. So good. So now I'm going to get some more coming in from behind him. Good, a little bit here on the edges. Good, now that's looking pretty good. So now I'm gonna come up here to my next layer. And I'm only I'm still using that same brush. I'm gonna hold down the Alt key. I'm gonna click on a darker brown. That's looking pretty good. We're gonna hit that. Boom. Boom. I'm just gonna play off of that a little bit. Boom. 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 Just gonna play off of that a little bit. Good, good, good. Now we're gonna come up to this one. Well, I'm gonna come up to the top one. And now we're gonna go to black. And I'm gonna hit this just right in here. Boom. Boom. Just gonna darken that down. Boom. I'm gonna do another layer and get a lighter blue. Hopefully a lighter blue. Yeah, good. And now we're gonna hit this. Boom. Just bring some fog in there. Boom. Boom, just to crystallize him. Boom, good. And now we're going to come up to our third layer. And now I'm going to grab a new brush and I'm going to grab, of course, my Harley brush. So, so far, we're going to be using two brushes here. Now I got to bring back up my brush settings. I'm going to come back to Shape Dynamics. I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to hit that about 53. We're going to do Angle about 50. And we're going to do Flip X Jitter. And I'm going to look at this say, yeah, I like that. I'm going to hit that right here. Boom. 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 And the more I play with this, also I'm going to increase the size of it. Boom. And I'm going to keep this more towards the center. Boom. Boom. I'm going to increase my flow rate from 51 to about 75, 74. Boom. Boom. Look at that. Boom. Now let's go back to here. I'm going to go black. Boom. 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 I'm going to come up on top with a new layer. Boom. 
just want to get some of the splattery going on in here. Boom. Boom. Good, good, good. And now I'm going to come up with another layer. I'm going to move this down. And I want to hit some purple. So we're going to come up here to purple. I'm going to come down to about right there. We're just going to hit some of this. Boom. 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 Especially coming down low. Boom. Boom. Good look at that. Oh, my goodness. Now I'm going to throw this up to about 80%. 85. We're going to hit that one more time. New layer. We're going to switch that. I'm going to put the size of my jitter. I'm going to make that pretty big. We're going to make the first brush pretty big. And we're going to hit this. Boom. 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 Look at that. Look at that. Now let's go up to the very tip top. Let's create a hue and saturation adjustment mask. We're going to bring up the saturation to about right there. Good. We're going to get rid of that box. We're going to look at that. I'm going to come down here, probably to about right here. We're going to do hue and saturation again. Just gonna saturate those bottom colors a little bit. Good. Let's go up to this one and bring it back out. That one's a little bit strong. We're at 37. And I'm gonna make it about 22. Good. Now let's shut that out. Look at that. I'm gonna make one more layer. Just one. I'm gonna see this. I'm gonna come to this layer. This paintbrush which is a circular brush so this will be the third brush we're gonna come over here we're gonna do size jitter angle jitter and then flip X now we'll move him down and let's just get some a little bit of stars going in there let's bring that underneath him boom 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 look at that people Look at that. Now I'm going to make a mask for that. I'm going to grab my gradient. I'm going to go to my circular gradient. Good. I'm going to come back to my mask. Just going to fade that out. Fade it out. Look at that. That is just so killer. And people, this is just one group. And here I'll show you. So we're going to come down here. Boom. And I'm just playing with these. And I'm going to turn that off. Look at this one. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And that's just one group. Let's do this one. Boom. Let's do this one. Boom. And this is just all just different playing. Boom. Look at that. And this is the one we just did. And people being able to use the jitter is going to add so much. Being able to create backgrounds. Again, we used uh, two fog brushes and one flare brush. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. And look at this image. It just brings so much impact so rapidly. I mean, this would be a hell of a background. You could play off different images in the background here. You know, maybe fight scenes going on back here. Um, it could be anything. So there's your Photoshop tip of the week. People, it, it, look into this. If you're not a member of the exclusive group, become one. The education that you get is unbelievable. What better way to further your photography than to learn and, and, and to apply these techniques? I mean, if you think these tips are great, you should see the Woody's World and the 15-minute makeovers and the critiques that we do every week on your images. So, so look into doing that. And so until next time, shoot from the heart and shoot with passion. We will see you here. The Photoshop tip of the week.